this is Mel from Bengal Whisper. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful wall decor. As you can see this is a beautiful wall decor, a plate which has a hook in the back. Now you can get this plate at any craft store. Go to your local craft store and find a plate which you can hang on the wall and decor it as well. So this plate I have put glitter dimensional fabric paint blue on the surface this is the paint for decorating with the sequin and this is the paint i use to glue the mirrors and you can get it at your craft store and this is for decorating actually t-shirt but works great for the glue purpose gluing purpose now as you see the plates look really beautiful and it has the mirrors and sequin you can use the mirrors one inch or smaller half inch and you can use silver or gold sequin of your choice so now as you can see I have colored this plate blue color and this is also a fabric paint these are the paints you can find in any craft store for painting anything so now you use either red or blue, your choice, and then you use this gold or silver paint to decorate. It will stand out. So I am getting out some mirrors. These are one inch mirror. You can use a small one as well. I'm going to put a little bit of a dot size paint. Now this is something to do with the kid then it will be very much fun. Now you take your mirror and press it down and this is a tool I'm using. It's my self made. It's an empty paint container. I use the tip so you press it down with the tip and you see it gives a beautiful edge and now this edge will look nice you can put the sequin on top of the edge or on the side of the edge use the edge as a guide now I'm getting out some sequin and these are very little sequins tiny little 5 mm and there's a white sequin you can get it at any craft store so I'm going to organize my things on a tray. You can even decorate on a tray because it's much easier to rotate when you decorate on a tray. Now you can keep all your supplies on a tray. Your mirrors and your sequin. And I'm just going to do little droplets. Little, little drain drops, tear drops, whatever you call it. And then I will use my tool to put the sequin on top of it. So this is something very calming. You can do yourself or you can do with a friend or have a craft party. So now I'm going to use a little bit of paint to pick up sequin and I'm going to drop them on the paint and use the tip of the empty paint container to press it down so I'm picking up each sequin one by one and pressing down this is very very calming so you can take your time after dinner sit down and do a project now remember after you do this project it takes about two hours to dry it properly two to three hours so you need to give that much time to dry it so basically what you see this design this is the design I'm going to follow all around the side so I'm going to have about six or seven circles depending on how big is your plate and how many you can put and what is the gap you want to give in between so you just have to pick one at a time patiently and this is a very calming activity for the kid too and 
can do with them uh, after dinner so they will be falling asleep easily so that's one done the center is done now I'm going to do the size exactly the same thing So I have four on four corners and so first you give enough gap because once you fill out all the sides you'll see that you need more space so you just press it down with a tool your mirrors or you can do it with your finger either way but you must press it down otherwise they won't stay this paint slash glue is very stable it holds on as long as you remember to put enough so now i'm going to decorate all the four sides you follow the same process what i did for the first one just a drop little droplets like raindrop and then put your sequin and continue with that so I'm going to do this for all the ones I need to put and then I will put some more sequins surrounding the top and the edges I'm going to use some q-tip and rhinestone those are just going to stick out like the sunburst so first you put your dots for like two of the mirrors and then finish them then put for two more because the paint dries quickly if you put for all of them then put your sequin the paint might get dry by the time you get to the last one so you do like one or two at a time so just one by one you pick up your sequin and this is so calming like if you watch it you're literally going to fall asleep even when you're doing it you will feel very calm this is very calming exercise so be sure not to watch this while you're driving because you will feel very sleepy I think the cicadas are out because they're making a lot of noise. So I am done with the second one. I'm going to go to the third one. And you have to just put them and see how you like and give enough gap and you also when you put it you have to remember about the decoration part because you have to decorate it too so I'm planning about putting some on the sides as well so as you go along and do it you put mirrors and see it how it looks and then you do final gluing before you glue it you see it how it looks so 
So you see how it looks now. Now I'm just going to glue them and decorate them. And then I'll put the Q-tips also to see how the Q-tips look. So this is how I'm planning to put Q-tips. Now, after you put the Q-tips, you have to dry it. So make sure you put all your mirrors and decorate them all and let it dry. And then you put your Q-tips and leave it alone because after you put your q-tips you cannot move it you have to let them sit for a while and on top of the q-tips i put rhinestone because rhinestones are light if you put heavy mirrors they will fall off so basically it will be like this after after you glue all your mirrors and put all your sequins two hours later when it's all dried then you use your q-tip and glue them and then let it dry again an hour or two and then you can hang it on the wall but you can do is add your rhinestone ahead of time before you glue the q-tips to the plate so this is how I did the whole thing. I added and then added the mirror on the side, then the cuties and after I added the cuties I added some extra paint on the cuties top so that it looks nice. And you can even paint the entire cuties silver or gold so it will really look nice. So you just pour some paint on top of it once you're done and they will be securely holding plus paint the body of the Q-tips.